so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this video is about how to replace the lube oil duplex filter of our auxiliary engine this maintenance is based upon observation when the differential pressure has reached to 1.5 bar which is the alarm limit then we have to replace the duplex filter so as for always guys we have to set the lock out and tug out process then we have to secure our engine from the local side and then we will start the loop oil priming pump before carrying out the job so right now i am operating the change over valve to which filter chamber we have to open so i'm opening from this side so right now this is secure then we can open the filter casing but we have to be sure that no pressure inside so we have to release the pressure and drain the oil from the drain plug so right now i am opening the cover of the casing so we have to ensure that oil all oil should be drained before opening the cover so slowly remove the cover then be careful with the o-rings that it will not be damaged so this is now the secondary filter and the other one is the paper filter element so this filter guys is disposable once it is used it is not advisable to reuse it again so here is our new filter element so both of the filters we will have to replace and then before installing the new filters we have to be sure that the inside casing or the inside chamber should be clean before installing the filter we must be sure that the end-to-end -end part of the filter which is the ceiling should be correctly in place so we must check all the ceilings or the o-rings from the casing cover to the filter element so right now i am installing the cover just slowly install the cover so that it will catch the secondary filter from the middle part of the cover then install all the nuts and tighten it evenly so as part of the third engineer job guys this replacement of lube oil duplex filter is very important since it has a lube oil pressure trip in which before reaching that point it gives you alarm which is the differential pressure high so when you receive the differential pressure high that means we have to replace the duplex lube oil filter so that's how important this kind of job guys so when the generator is in operation one of the most important parameters we have to check every day is the lube oil pressure of the engine so based from our observation and the changes of the differential pressure then we have to decide when to replace but when it has come to its alarm limit the differential pressure high in which is set to 1.5 bar then it's time to replace the lube oil duplex filter so in this case guys i replace both filters since i'm using both filters in operation well you have options you can use either of the filters then you can keep the other filter in standby and it will not interrupt the operation of the engine whenever you will change it over from the service to standby so the filter element guys is not reusable but only if 
it is deemed necessary so this kind of generator guys has a working lube oil pressure of 4.0 to 5.0 bar and uh, lube oil pressure trip is 3.0 bar at this point I am finished with the replacement of both lube oil filters so I will put the change over valve to both position then start the lube oil priming pump for at least 10 minutes before starting our auxiliary engine once the lube oil pump has been started then we have to bleed off both filters chambers so that we can ensure that no any air pocket from inside that may interrupt the operation of the engine when there is no more air from the oil pressure then we can close the bleed off valve in both filter chamber and now I am opening the starting valve of the engine and the indicator cock in all cylinders so we can blow first our engine before starting before starting the engine guys we have to ensure that no any blockings which means that we have to reset all the alarms from this electronic type of governor engine so right now I am blowing it by air then after that I am starting the auxiliary engine this time we will start the engine and we will check the differential pressure in between the filter inlet and the engine inlet loop oil pressure so it is confirmed that it has a good result the engine inlet and the filter inlet is almost the same so until here guys i hope you learned something about this video and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe so this is jb23 vlog thank you for watching stay safe everyone bye bye <laughs>